Tamman here doing what I love, and with the NFL draft this Thursday, this is my final NFL round one mock draft. So without further ado, let's get into a round one. And here we go. So the Cincinnati Bengals on the clock with the first pick, and everyone has them taking Joe Burrow. And I would be surprised if they didn't. I love Burrow's ability to read defenses, his time to react, his leadership, it's all elite. Um, and I think the Bengals find their franchise quarterback with the kid from LSU. Number two, another surefire pick, Chase Young from Ohio State. What can I say? He is amazing. Ron Rivera is a defensive coach, head coach of the Redskins. Perfect fit. I still go on Isaiah Simmons, a linebacker out of Clemson, with this pick for the Lions. I think you know Matt Patricia, Patricia is kind of like Ron Rivera. They both like defense. You want a guy like Simmons that can go all over the field. So I think that's the third pick. And then the fourth pick for the Giants, I could either see this being Akuda or O-line. They both, they need both, but I think you go offensive line here with Jedrick Wills from Alabama to protect your franchise running back in Saquon Barkley and your franchise quarterback with Daniel Jones. The Dolphins here waste no time, and they get their quarterback of the future, Tua Tungvaluwa, out of Alabama. I'll personally go offensive line here, but I think Miami goes Tua with this pick. Okay, so I still have Jordan Love here going to the Chargers. I really like this pick. I think Jordan Love is gonna can he's gonna be the future of the Chargers. They have Tyrod Taylor, who's good now. Tyrod Taylor though, is not the future. Jordan Love can sit a year, and I think he can do really good things in Los Angeles. The Panthers. Desperately need secondary, and Jeffrey Akuda, corner from Ohio State, falls to them, and they get this really good secondary player. Now, the Cardinals here, I have them going Tristan Worse out of Iowa. I know Derek Brown's there, but I think you need someone to protect Kyler Murray. He was sacked a ton last year, and I believe that they go Tristan Worse. The Jaguars have lost a lot of their secondary, and I think C.J. Henderson, corner from Florida, does stay in Florida by going to Jacksonville. They trade away A.J. Bouye. They trade away Jaron Ramsey. You need that corner spot. Browns here, I've seen this mocked a lot, and I agree. Andrew Thomas from Georgia. I really like Thomas. He's personally my favorite offensive lineman in this draft, and I think he goes to Cleveland. The Jets, I think that they go offensive line Makai Becton from Louisville. I know wide receiver is important, but you got to protect Sam Darnold and Le'Veon Bell. And Becton, I think, is the choice. This just for me, I can see it. Jerry Judy, the big play guy from Alabama, going to Las Vegas with the Raiders. I could see this. I have that as CD. It's close. I think Jerry Judy here is a selection for the Raiders. Derek Brown is still on the board from Arbor, and I think he goes to the Niners. And this might seem shocking, but last year th a lot of people thought Ed Oliver would be a top five pick. He went to 10, and I could see Derek Brown falling all the way to 13. I don't know, but I, I could see him falling a bit, and I think that would be a great pickup for the Niners. I think if he falls this much in the actual draft, I think a team trades up, but no trades, the Niners get him. Here for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, I have them going offensive lineman Cesar Ruiz. You got to protect Tom Brady. I think that's just a solid selection. The guy from Michigan goes to Tampa, Florida. Henry Ruggs out of Alabama. Great speed. Will go well with Drew Locke's big arm. Just a really good match there. Caleb Vaughn Chason from LSU goes to Atlanta. And I could see I, I could see this happening. Falcons need edge rusher badly. And I, I, I think that's just a really good fit. And then Christian Fulton from LSU, I think, goes to Dallas. They need that cornerback help. That's the number one need. And that's the selection. CeeDee Lamb is still on the board for the Miami Dolphins. But they have Devontae Parker and Preston Williams. I think you have to go offensive line here. And I think that they go Josh Jones. It got him a bit higher on than others. I think he goes to here to Miami. The Raiders got their quarterback of the future. And I think with this selection, they go Javon Kinlaw, defensive lineman, to shore up that D-line. And that's the Raiders selection. The Jacksonville Jaguars are still on the board. They went secondary. 
And with this pick, I think you could go a lot of different things. I think with this selection, the Jaguars go Xavier McKinney of Alabama to shore up that secondary, which means that, you know what, actually, uh, C.D. Lamb. They already took corner. They need wide receiver. They went secondary. C.D. Lamb. And then the Eagles, I think they go either Justin Jefferson or um, Denzel Mims. There's been more talk about Mims in the Eagles organization, so I think they go wide receiver from Baylor. And then I think Justin Jefferson wears yellow and purple from LSU, and I think he stays in the yellow and purple going to the Vikings. I think Grant Delpit to the Patriots is a pick I could see. He is like that Bill Belichick type of player defensively. I could see this. The kid from LSU, who I really like, I think he'll be great, goes to the New England Patriots. Alrighty. The New Orleans Saints, I think they go Patrick Queen, get that linebacker, get that quarterback of the defense from LSU. I think that's just a really good fit, and he is a selection. The Vikings are back on the board, and I think they go Jeff Gladney, from cornerback from TCU. The Dolphins, Xavier McKinney's still there. He's falling a bit. Guy from Alabama, I like him. And I think the Dolphins should get a good secondary player. And already a really good secondary. AJ Espineza just seems like a Seahawks pick. He has that work ethic. He has the technique. I just see this being a pick. The guy from Iowa goes to Seattle. The Ravens here, I think, go Kenneth Murray linebacker. Now, I don't know if he falls in real life, but... I, I think he is the selection here, and he is, did I miss him? Oh, there he is, from Oklahoma, where we like that selection. Uter Gross Matos, Titans Lost Edge, they get that. Jalen Rager here, that guy who can really create separation, goes to the Packers, and Rodgers needs another weapon. The Niners here, they do need secondary, but also wide receiver, they go LaVisca Chenault. And then the final pick, we have the Chiefs. I, They could do a lot of things here. I think they go running back. And that will conclude the mock draft. So anyways, guys, that is it. And very interesting picks. I think the 20 range is going to be the most diverse here in this draft. Some of y'all think. And then Wednesday, I'll have rounds two to three. So I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.